Aw oh, yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today we're going to take a look at the Probox 2 EX. This is an Android media player with the excellent AM Logic S802H chipset. This CPU is very fast, it can play all types of video including 4K, and it has an awesome remote that's one of the best I've used. So hang in there while we take a closer look at the Probox 2 EX. First, let's take a look at the ProBox 2 and what comes in the box. So it's about the size and shape of an Apple TV, but it has a power button on the top which actually comes in really handy and works awesome. On the side, it's got a connection for an external Wi-Fi antenna as well. This antenna works great with the dual band 2.4 and 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi of the ProBox 2. Inside the box, you have all the accessories you need to set it up, including a power adapter, HDMI cable, and an extra IR remote control. This IR remote control looked a little bit familiar, so I checked, and sure enough, it was the same remote that came with the Tron Smart Vega. But hey, having an extra remote control is a nice bonus. The ProBox 2 actually came with a second totally awesome remote called the Remote Plus. This remote works exceptionally well. The motion sensing feels more natural than my last favorite remote. It's got a game mode that actually works. The range is really good, and it even has a microphone that works decently. What is the tallest building in the world? Plus it comes with a USB dongle, so you can use this on other devices. I tested it on my Minix X8 and it worked great on there. I'll add a link to the ProBox 2, including the Remote Plus, in the video description down below. Now let's take a look at the hardware on the media player itself. At the center of the box is the AM Logic S802H quad-core CPU, and this is a fast processor. We'll show you some benchmarks in just a little bit. It's also got an octa-core Mali 450 GPU, which makes it really good for 4K video as well as games. For the flash storage, it's got 16 gigabytes of eMMC memory, which means that the controller is integrated with the NAND, so the memory is going to be really fast. This could be part of why the AND22 score came out so high. It also supports up to 128 gig micro SD cards. And it's also got the dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, support for webcams, the 4K video playback, and Android 4.4 KitKat. Another useful feature is that the power button is right on top of the box, which I find to be very handy. And finally, a few other features that are worth mentioning are the remote can actually turn the box off and more importantly back on again. And again, it's got the support for micro SD cards up to 128 gigs, which makes it really good for traveling or in my case traveling with small children. And finally, I like the way the front LED is not too distracting when you're trying to watch a movie and it's dark. You really only see it faintly unless you're looking down at the device. The ProBox 2 EX has a good selection of ports. On the back you've got your power in, you've got analog video and audio out, your Ethernet port, 4K HDMI port, and optical audio output. On the side you've got your micro SD card slot, your OTG port for updating, and two USB 2.0 ports. And on the bottom you've got some holes for ventilation to keep it nice and cool. And now let's take a look at the software on the ProBox 2 EX. The software is very similar to other AM Logic S802 boxes. It's designed so that you can toggle wherever you need to go and so that you can group apps into categories. I actually prefer this compared to say the Apple TV because I use a lot of different apps. Another cool thing on here is the remote has voice to text that actually works pretty well. You need to make sure to speak slowly and clearly but if you do that it will work pretty good. It could be used for Skype conversations or Google Hangouts or just to enter long strings of text into your browser. Here's an example. Who won the 2004 World Series of Poker? So this is still much better than typing in that whole sentence with the on-screen keyboard. Greg Raymer. So next up I installed all my favorite apps like Next Launcher 3D and a bunch of media playback apps just to see how the performance was. And having all the apps installed really didn't change the performance. The system was still nice and stable and actually really fast. So first off I ran CPU-Z and that just gives some information about the processor and the system. And you can see the processor can go all the way up to 2 gigahertz. Uh, the cores are all variable clock speed and you know they crank up when the system's going and, and shut down when, there's not, when they're not being used. And I've been checking on my watt meter while I'm doing all this, and when it, the processor's busy, it's running about 5 watts, and when it's not busy, it's running about 2 to 3 watts. And when the box is on standby, it's actually down to 0 watts, so nice power performance on this. 
So next I ran Antutu, and this is the latest version. It actually just came out today, and it scored an amazing 38,465. But this number is actually a bit high, and I think it's because this is a new version of Antutu. But I ran Antutu last week on it, on the old version, and it got a really still awesome score, 30,613, which is still an amazing score, the best I've seen on an Android mini PC so far. And you can see that's running in full 1080p, and here's all the individual test settings right here. So still the best score I've ever seen at 30,000, just awesome. And one more thing on here I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, I thought I saw a super user window pop up, so I ran root checker on here, and sure enough, it came pre-rooted with 4.4.2. So that's a nice little feature to have if you want to run apps that require root, and you won't have to go through the trouble of rooting it or installing a custom ROM yourself. So next I did a quick video test on here just to show you how well it works and all these AIM Logic devices are actually really solid but this is actually 60 frame per second 1080p video and you can see it's really smooth the audio is playing which doesn't play a lot of times and here's some 4k video being played and you can see that's also nice and smooth it's playing on 1080p but it can handle the 4k files and I can play it on my 4k TV no problem and then here's some just 1080p 30 frames per second video and again it's just nice and smooth no jumps at all so video is very solid on here oh and one more thing it's got XBMC pre-installed with version 14.0 alpha XBMC can play 4k video and 1080p MKVs without audio sync issues there are one or two bugs with 4K playback since it's an alpha, but other than that, it works nicely. Another one of my favorite features about this unit is on the remote, you can hit this button about three times, turn the remote sideways, and use it as a gaming controller. It doesn't work on everything out there, but it does work really well on driving games and space shooter games. If you want to play something more complicated, like a first-person shooter, you're probably going to want to hook up a Bluetooth joystick like the Moga Pro gaming joystick. But for the occasional gamer, this joystick remote works really well. You can also use the gyro remote to play a lot of other games like this one, but it's actually a lot easier to just play on your phone. Still, it's fun to relieve some stress on the big screen once in a while. Here I'm using Miracast, which basically mirrors the screen of your phone onto your big screen TV. So I've got my LG G3, and it works great to project the screen onto the TV. I really like this feature when you want to show a group of people what's on your phone. I use it a lot for showing people maps or sometimes photo slideshows to my family. Alright guys, that wraps up my review of the ProBox 2 EX. It's a great quality Android media player with probably one of the best remotes I've used so far. I'll add a list of the pros and cons in the video description down below. And honestly, there really aren't very many cons on here. I'll also put a link to where you can get the ProBox 2 as well as all the hardware and software you saw in the video. Thanks again for watching and as always, aloha.